vama je da doktor Teodora Šoš. Teodora is a hydrogeologist, an environmental engineer as well. She works in a geological survey of Hungary in Budapest and also she is uh, acting now as a vice president of the International Association of Hydrogeologists and her responsibility is uh, Central and South and Europe and we are very glad to, to have Theodora with us and Theodora will present more about the association, its mission and some recent activities in this part of the world. So, please. Yeah. Thank you for the introduction and uh, thank you very, very much for uh, inviting uh, me and uh, giving the opportunity to say a few words about uh, IIH. And I was uh, asked also to highlight some recent activities in the region. We heard by Professor Hava that uh, the Serbian chapter is one of those who were established at the very beginning of uh, IH, and there are uh, very active uh, colleagues in also in, in different commissions, especially in the CARS commissions, but uh, I hope that uh, there are uh, people in the room for whom uh, this presentation will give some uh, new information. So, as we heard, uh, IH is celebrating 60 years this year, uh, which will be in uh, Montpellier at the IH Congress. So, what is uh, the mission of IH? So, mainly, we, we, we want to say in one sentence of furthering the understanding, the wise uh, use, and protection of groundwater resources through the world. So a few words about the history. We heard that it was founded in 1956. It, it had about 2,000 members at the end of the 80s, and now we passed uh, 4,100 members in 131 uh, countries. Uh, IH organized uh, 42 congresses. The 43rd will be in Montpellier this year. There are uh, already more than, national uh, more than 40 national chapters as uh, more are being established, uh, luckily. And um, we have also incorporated an uh, and charitable status uh, from 2000. So, the uh, IAH is uh, now, um, it would say, a worldwide uh, professional community, uh, scientific forum, and also publisher and uh, advocate for groundwater resources and educational and charitable body. So just to show you where the congresses uh, were organized, you see that practically except Antarctica, we had congresses in all continents. Of course, they focus uh, mostly in Europe, because uh, we will see this is one of the largest regions with the most members, but also in, in uh, uh, Northern America. But of course, you see, uh, there were uh, congresses uh, in Southern uh, uh, America, or Africa, or Asia, and also two in Australia. If you look at uh, this uh, graph, you, you see that uh, in the 50s, 60s, that was the time when IAH uh, was formed and was, uh, the membership was growing um, continuously. But uh, in fact, the 80s and up to the middle of 90s was the period of, of the intense growth years. And, um, more and more hydrogeologists, and not just hydrogeologists, but uh, professionals dealing and interested in the use of uh, the groundwater resources, joined IAH. And we can say that uh, since then, uh, it's a, a time, a period of uh, consolidation, and uh, we are really very happy and pleased that uh, the members of uh, IH and the membership is growing, and in uh, 2012 passed uh, the 4,000. Uh, and uh, here you, you can have an overview by uh, the region, and uh, 
highlighted in yellow, it's the Western and Central Europe uh, and where we are. And you see that uh, this is the region with the largest uh, number of um, IAH members, 1736, so it's about 42% of IAH members come from this region. Um, about the membership uh, scene, so we have uh, also sponsored memberships and that uh, from one side is provided by individual uh, IH member, but from the other side there are also some uh, national chapters, especially the larger, bigger national chapters who supports um, either young hydrogeologists or colleagues uh, some, uh, from a different part of the world, mostly from uh, Africa or the Pacific state, Latin America, and yes, the Irish uh, chapter and some uh, individual support some colleagues from Russia. So that helps a lot, especially for those who, who, who otherwise wouldn't be in the situation to, to join uh, IH, sometimes just because of technical reasons, not having the, <laughs> the opportunity to, let's say, to transfer the registration fee. So it's, uh, we, we try to, to open doors and, and to have uh, as much as possible for everybody to join IH. What are the priorities? Uh, just some uh, of the main ones or the few ones. So as I said, it's a worldwide professional forum uh, supporting uh, from one side its, mem uh, its members and also the groundwater community. It uh, also provides uh, high level advocacy like for the European Commission, the World Water Forum or JAP on uh, important and uh, needs of, for groundwater and provides also technology transfer mostly through its uh, burden groundwater network uh, supporting them. and um, this uh, support goes uh, mostly for, uh, for Africa and it has uh, uh, science commissions and networks and many working in uh, partnerships with UNESCO, IHP and other agencies. Uh, IAH, um, let's say that's an NGO for uh, groundwater, um, has a wide ra range of uh, groundwater uh, specialists uh, and uh, this um, Diversification and multidisciplinarity is, uh, is larger and larger, but of course, we are very proud of our uh, geological roots. Uh, so, we said that we have about eight, uh, 40 national chapters with uh, eight uh, regional vice presidents. Uh, about the services, what we can say that the IAH has uh, a renewed website. We, the, that always existed, but now it's a renewed one, where we organize international congresses and also regional um, conferences, specialist and national conferences. And uh, of course, those who are members of IH, they, they can attend these uh, meetings uh, at a discounted uh, registration fee. As it was presented, that uh, it has a leading scientific uh, uh, journal, uh, which uh, impact factor is uh, increasing, you can say happily, that in the last few years, more and more, which is free uh, to the members. And we have also two book uh, publications uh, with a very high discount rate for members. That means that the discount is 60% for members. So here you see just some uh, of the latest publication, uh, one, uh, the blue book series is uh, related to, uh, especially to international contribution to hydrogeology. This the history of hydrogeology was the last one. But uh, as we have the other series, the so-called green book series. Uh, these are uh, selected papers 
mostly from uh, conferences and meetings. The last one, which just came out this spring, it was uh, about, uh, it is about the uh, a CARST conference organized in Trevina two years ago, and uh, this is by um, Zoran Stefanovic, and the book is uh, also edited by Zoran and Nino Kokuric and Nevan Kresic. So it's, uh, we see we are here in the heart of the karst uh, equipers and regions. So um, that, that is the last uh, IAH uh, Green Book publication. Um, about the partnerships, uh, I would say that, okay, that's to, the aim is to improve uh, the science in, and the information basis uh, for better understanding of groundwater. Of course, uh, we are uh, affiliated to IUGS, uh, recognized since 1972. Um, we are UNESCO uh, partners with the UNESCO IHP since the 80s and um, lots of uh, IH commissions and network uh, collaborate, and uh, our aim is to broaden cooperation also with other UN uh, bodies. And so what uh, I would also like to mention that IH uh, launched the 10 years forward look program in 2010. Uh, with uh, five main uh, elements. Uh, and one is uh, the education and academic development. The other is international uh, development of uh, IAH. So one to influ uh, inform and influence uh, global policy because uh, what we are facing, and I'm sure everybody is facing that, okay, we, we might be excellent in our scientific field, but somehow we can't uh, get through this, uh, and we are usually preparing things and talking to each other, and somehow we, we, we can't reach the policymaker. So that is one of the main um, goals, I, I would say. It's, I, I consider very important, uh, this uh, element. Uh, the other one is to enhance uh, alliances uh, with external agencies and uh, enhance the development of, of science, of course. Uh, what we have established uh, from this already is uh, we have a very active uh, LinkedIn group with about 1,000 members. And already I heard about yes, in the EVA presentation that they also have the young people involved, that it, uh, that's an engine, that's a motor which brings uh, our work also ahead. We have a very active early career hydrogeologist network. Uh, we, we have reviewed the, the commissions of IAH and uh, we have new partnerships to support uh, international development like this IGRAG or um, IWSN or African Groundwater Network. And we have also now an education working group. Um, here you can see the list of the scientific commissions and, and network. Some were even established very recently after the review. And uh, I, I would uh, really call your attention to th those who are interested to join these uh, commissions and networks. They are. Uh, most of them they are very active and uh, it's very excellent uh, programs and uh, sometimes uh, also with uh, field trips, excursions, site visits, so, so, and also with involving trainings. So re really it's a great opportunity to, to work and to, uh, to be part of one of these commissions. Um, IH uh, started to publish uh, strategic overview papers last year when I submitted uh, the abstract for this uh, conference. There were three now. We have already five uh, papers. Uh, it's about uh, 
find the geology and the interface to the, uh, the different sectors. As you see, it's about groundwater and food security, the energy sector, resilient city, about ecosystem conservation, last one, groundwater and human health, because it's very important to be able to, to transfer the right messages, the right communication to the people who are, who are in contact, who are interacting, who have to interact, and sometimes to take decisions uh, related to groundwater uh, resources and the management of, uh, of ground, groundwater. And I don't want to mention about the sustainable use because we talked a lot and we heard really excellent presentation today about that. And um, some activities underway and planned. So we uh, have also a, a, a Facebook group, and Twitter for congresses and the journal, uh, developing uh, educational resources on the website, training course lists, and mentoring schemes. And a, the job forum is still a question mark, but uh, yes, lots of uh, lots of plans. Um, and if since we are here in Belgrade and also representing uh, Western and Central Europe, so here I just show you the, those countries which have uh, already national chapters, almost all of the countries, if you are missing, like, <laughs> like Finland, for example, but, uh, and all the new, newly established uh, countries from, let's say, the Yugoslavia, but uh, there are 22 national chapters uh, in this region, and as uh, I've seen, that's the largest uh, region of IAH. And uh, yeah, the, the Serbian uh, chapter is also active and involved in uh, lots of activities of IAH. Uh, some uh, recent and planned congresses, um, the, I said that it's, uh, Europe is one of the most active uh, in the region. This maybe shows that also that uh, it's, it's not common to have uh, three congresses in one continent, but last year we had in Rome, organized by the Italian chapter. This year the anniversary congress will be in Montpellier. Uh, being organized by the French and the German national chapters between 25th and 29th of September. So please, those who can join or attend the Congress, uh, I can promise that it will be a, a great uh, event. So you can, uh, you can still register for uh, early bird pra uh, registration fee until the 15th and <laughs> of June. And, but you can just come also for one or two days if uh, that's uh, what you can uh, arrange. And um, we heard already that uh, the next Congress will be the, the next door in Croatia in Dubrovnik. It's a very nice uh, place. Being, and will be organized by the Croatian uh, national chapter and the topic of, uh, will be about groundwater heritage and sustainability and also between 25th and 29th September. Um, maybe you heard about the general activities of our IH, but I would like to bring your attention also about uh, an initiative which uh, we launched in 2013 in the, the Central European region. So we launched a conference series and uh, joint activities in this region. The first uh, meeting was organized in uh, 2013 in Hungary, in Morohalom. It's very close to the Serbian bo border, just other side of the border. And that uh, was organized by the Hungarian chapter on uh, geothermal issues. Uh, we had 80 participants from nine countries and six national chapters uh, presented uh, in their uh, work. 
The second uh, conference uh, was held in Romania last uh, October in uh, groundwater risk assessment in urban uh, areas topic with 65 pa participants. And even that it was very close to the Rome Congress, I can say that uh, we were very happy and pleased to see that so many people came and attended the meeting. So that shows that there is uh, an interest and maybe also there is uh, useful to have these regional meetings and cooperation. So we had people from ten countries and seven national chapters. The third one is planned to uh, be um, had in uh, Dubrovnik during the Congress. Uh, and uh, the proposed topic is uh, transboundary issues. We heard about from Nino, and we are here, uh, and we heard also Andrea's presentation, and we've seen how many transboundary already agreed uh, groundwater bodies are defined in, in the Danube region. So uh, this is very uh, important, uh, I would say, in, uh, in this region, so that's why we propose this, uh, this uh, topic and um, we, we really hope that this will continue and I know that Zoran already proposed that even the Serbia um, chapter could organize but we, we, at that time we thought okay it's maybe it's better not to have uh, an other in between but that would be maybe too, mu too much but uh, yeah, we, we really hope that uh, this will uh, continue and we, we go around and maybe hopefully in Serbia and Poland and let's see where and so to, to have um, this uh, initiative to, to be continued. Another uh, proposal which uh, came, uh, was formulated and discussed in uh, Constanza in Romania last October is uh, to, to write and to publish then a book on uh, the mineral waters in, uh, of the Carpathian region. So we, we hope that we, we can uh, really bring together um, experts and interested people from the whole region and uh, discuss it uh, how, how to, to really formulate and what to, this book should contain. And of course, uh, any, any proposal is uh, welcome because I think it, uh, we have similar uh, problems. Sim to, to deal with in the region, so it's very important that uh, those colleagues who, who deal with and face similar problems to discuss and uh, work it out the uh, solutions. So any proposal is welcome, educational, training, field workshop, and of course, uh, uh, I would say also common projects, because if there is a project, then it's easier to, to have uh, people to, to, to work uh, in it. And so in fact that uh, what I wanted to tell you about IAH and uh, if you are interested in, uh, in joining, so please if you need more information check the website or contact the secretariat or in this region also I'm happy to, to answer emails. And please come to Montpellier and consider joining IAH. Thank you.